here I'm going to show you book binding I'm going to show you how to make a book similar to this one it's quite simple to do but it is a bit fiddly apologies for the blurry camera at the beginning here's first of all just take a piece of paper any size I like small books so I'm gonna just use A5 just fold it in half and make sure there's a nice crisp fold along the edge and this is the start of the book you need to get some more pages like this and you just open them up slip each one inside of one another now you need about four or five sheets to make each little individual booklet and the books made up of these booklets I've got a feeling I'm going to say booklets too many times in this <laughs> yeah so I've got four sheets of paper like that and then obviously just make more of these little booklets depending on how thick you want it you want quite a few I'm only doing a small one so I'm only using five but I've still got plenty of pages in it okay I'm using different coloured paper obviously I mean, use whatever you want <laughs> doesn't bother me <laughs> Okay, so once you've got how many you need, uh, we want to move on to making the front and back covers. So you just get a couple of magazines that have got nice pictures on them, and take one of the booklets, and you just want to find on the magazine where you want what you want the front cover to be. Just place it on top, and then you want to just cut out that section. So just get a hobby knife, and just go around the outside with it or you can just uh, draw around the outside of a pen and cut it out with scissors if that's easier for you okay so just count like I say you need two of them for the front and back now you want to cover them in clear tape just to make them a bit more durable and obviously just being a bit stronger try not to get any bubbles in it <laughs> well I did <laughs> Okay, so once you've done that, if the back's like all pretty and everything, just do another clear tape one. If not, use duct tape. You do need a dark one though, as you can see, you can see through this one. Okay, and then after that, just get some more duct tape and just make a little trim around the outside. This is just to make it a little neater, you don't have to do it. But again, it just makes it look a bit more prettier. Okay, and just make sure you don't have any like duct tape or anything hanging off the side you want to trim that up so it's all nice and neat okay so once you've got the, those done it will be time to put it all together okay, so just obviously decide what you want on top and um, for the back and just place them on top of each other and then that's it we'll just have to sew it all together which will be in the next video coming up shortly I'll put a link somewhere on here for you and so that's the first bit done thank you <laughs>